Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D, from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today, well actually I'm filming this on Thursday, so Friday, The Force Awakens officially comes out. And so I decided let's do a, a pop and uh, some action figures video. Um, I've already did one today for uh, one of my friends. He, he uh, had a few figures and we will start doing some more action figure stuff. And if you saw, the, if you see the video, he's got a ton of figures. And I do too, and I'm going to start doing a lot more action figures and reviews. But um, today, again, The Force Awakens. So I figure, what better day than all these pops I have and a few action figures to go with it. So we'll start off with The Force Awakens. And, oh, turn around the right way so you can see it. <laughs> um, this is the majority of the basic set. You can see them all. Let's see. We got Ray, Finn, uh, was that Kylo Ren? I believe that's who that is. BB-8, Poe Dameron. These are all the regular ones. Then you got Chewie, C-3PO, Captain Phasma, and we have two different Stormtroopers. I can't remember which one's which without taking them off of the back. It was really cool. I bought a whole bunch of them at, at one store, and... And it was the last ones in the box. And I said, well, what you going to do with the box? He's like, throw it away. It's like, not if I have it. He's like, go ahead, take it. So I got a nice display for it. Except for one little problem. <laughs> there was one extra figure. <laughs> it goes from 58 up to 67. But number 68, as you can see on the back, there was 11 figures. And there was 10 that would hold in the box. But that's all right, because the box looks cool. You got the one extra figure. So this, this complete the set of the uh, the basic figures, with the uh, last uh, was that first order flame trooper, and you know, those figures love them to death. Think they're awesome looking, and again, all, most all the pops look great. And then they come up with a whole bunch of variants, um, uh, exclusives for different stores. We start off with, and this one right here is probably the hardest one for me to find, was the Poe Dameron. It took my my Walmart forever to find one to, to get them in. So that's Poe. And we have Ray, the Hot Topic exclusive. She's got the goggles on there. The other one? Yeah, she's just got the goggles. I'm trying to remember what the difference was. And um, Poe, for those who don't know, he was unmasked. And the regular figure, he's he's got the uh, helmet on. And we got the exclusive Amazon Stormtrooper. Uh, flame Trooper. Yeah, no, Stormtrooper. Look at that. See, he's got the big gun in this one. They're awesome looking figures. Tell you what. They're doing a really great job with the figures. Next one is the First Order Stormtrooper with the shield from, uh, where's this, Walgreens. The Walgreens exclusive. <clears throat> this one right here, it seems like they've got tons of them in every one of the, uh, the Walgreens stores. And everyone I go into, they have at least four or five of them. Uh, the next one, I got this on um, Star Wars Day, which I still don't know how September 4th was Star Wars Day. Someone's got to get leave a comment. Let me know how that was Star Wars Day. But um, this one is Finn, the GameStop exclusive. Finn in the Stormtrooper outfit, with no mask on. Great looking figure. There he is on the other side. And the next one. And this one was kind of hard to find as well. Kylo Ren, uh, the unhooded one. Unhooded. No hood. <laughs> That's Kylo Ren. See a good picture of him. Tell you what, I can't wait to see the movie. I'm so excited about it. And that uh well, actually we have a few more variants. I forgot about these. We have uh, the C3PO Barnes & Noble exclusive. The chrome version. Well, metallic, I guess that's what they would call this one. The metallic version of it. Great looking figure. Actually, I, I like this one better because it feels more like the old, old uh, shined up C-3PO. And let's see. Then we got the ones from the uh, Smuggler's Bounty. Now, I am missing one of these and I'm still mad at Marvel or Collector's Corp, Marvel Collector's Corp or uh, Smuggler's Bounty where they're putting out um, exclusives. You buy the box, and then there's still a chase when you can't find. I, don't, I mean, I bought the box thinking, okay, I'm going to get all the exclusives. That's why I bought the box. 
But anyway, neither here nor there. Here's the uh, fighter pilot. I got the one without the red on it. And, you know, to me, it's like, I'm not going to try to get the other one. I mean, I spent money on it to get them and whatever. But this one I really, really liked. The Captain Phasma Chrome. That figure looks phenomenal. Look at it. Tell you what, I can't wait to see the movie, to see what's going on with, with all these characters that I, I don't know that are all new to me. And then we get, oh, this is this one actually may be my favorite one, is the uh, the Darth Vader Chrome. And it's shiny. It is beautiful. I think I've actually already shown this on one video before, but got to have it on my Star Wars video. Look at how amazing that figure looks. It's phenomenal. And the last one, out of the, actually this, man, that actually was the last one out of that group, out of the uh, the Force Awakens. Actually, Vader was not part of those. <laughs> but <laughs> then I go into the uh, the C three PO, the um, what is this? The Summer Convention Exclusive, two thousand fifteen. Again, this to me looks just like a regular C three PO. It doesn't look anything really special, but you know what? C three PO had to have him. And now we're going into some of the Walgreens exclusives. We got, this one's very hard for me to find. And they've actually got almost three variations of this whole set where they have, um, they have no sticker, no exclusive. Then they have one with the, that, um, the exclusive, where's that other one? But they have like this exclusive sticker on it. And then they also have one with a, a circle uh, with the Walgreens logo and so I believe it says exclusive on it. I have uh, not picked up any of those So I've got the regular set don't need to pick up any more of them But this one right here love this figure the glow-in-the-dark Yoda Love that figure such an amazing figure right there awesome looking figure Then we also got the stormtrooper The snow trooper I believe is what he's called. Yeah, snow trooper, which again Walgreens exclusive Good looking figure there. Not real hugely fan of these, uh, especially um, this one right here. This one, <laughs> in the movies, this character was great, but his head is way, way too big for his body in, in, the, in these figures. I, I, I'm not real big on this particular one, even though it still looks good. It's no, it doesn't look great like the rest of them. And the last one, out of these is the the Boba Fett there oh yeah I almost forgot to mention an interesting thing about the, this first one and I've heard the the last ones with the circle sticker on it they actually changed this and they took this off where it says Walgreens and they actually misspelled Walgreens it's only supposed to be one L and wall on these and they actually misspelled that so they actually changed that as well but the Boba Fett looks really really cool Let's see, what are the last two pops I had here? Ah, yes. The Barnes & Noble exclusive. I believe this also came out on um, Star Wars Day. Again, someone explained to me, September 4th, Star Wars Day. Don't get it. I understand May the 4th. Don't understand? No, September 4th. No sense. But this is a K3PO. Um, again, I, think, I actually think that looks pretty cool. It, to me, it's just, it, it reminds me of a, um, almost like the prototype for uh, C-3PO. You know, just the white, no gold on it, kind of kind of like the Boba Fett is with the, the Boba Fett prototype for the actual regular Boba Fett. And this one right here, saw this. This is one I had to get, the uh, Emperor hologram, holographic Emperor, excuse me. Clothes in the dark, actually has really good glow on it too. You can see his face, can't, look at that. Cool looking figure there. Saw that, had to have it. And that's a great looking figure there. And that's all the pops. Now we have a few figures. I don't have a ton of figures now. When I was little, I had the big Battlestar, uh, not Battlestar Galactica, listen to me. I, I just made a, a sin in the Star Wars, Star Wars world. The Millennium Falcon had a big, huge Millennium Falcon, had a ton of the figures. Through the years, I've lost them all. Man, that hurts too, because I, I love those figures when I was little. But a few of them we got, I got pretty cheap actually. I got, got the biker scout on the on the bike. 
Great looking figure on the speeder bikes, what he actually is called on the speeder bike. This was from uh, episode six. You know, as, as I called it, one of the original three, the last one, the original three. The, the last good one, hopefully up until tomorrow when the new ones come out. Great looking figure. Love that figure. Good stuff there. Um, and this is another one of the newer figures. Again, I got lucky, got it real cheap. Got Jabba the Hut. Okay, looks like a big old slug. Good looking figure there. They also had um, Han and Greedo, and I, I did not pick that one up. They were asking um, way too much for that one, so I, I never did get that one. If it, if it drops a little bit, maybe I'll, I'll pick that one up as well. And the last few, these are older ones. This is from, um, what, your 97? Yeah, 97. These are some of the bigger figures. Obi-Wan Kenobi. So he's got that ball he used to use with uh, with Luke. And he would shock Luke until he finally started using the Force. That's pretty cool right there. He's got the shield to cover his head. Good figure there. See the back of it. Look at that. Great looking figure. Um, the next one is Luke. It's the old one here from, it's got the old ceremonial metal on it. And these four right here, I got real cheap at a, a convention. They were, I want to say, and there, there's the actual figure of them with them right there. Um, I want to say they're about $5 a piece. I got lucky and got them at a convention. And here is Emperor Palpatine. Again. Like I say, I got the, I want to say about two years ago, I got these. I think they, I really, I think they look pretty cool right there. One I don't have is Chewy, and that's one I would like to get. Cause Chewy, big fan of Chewbacca. There's Palpatine right there. Look at that face on Palpatine. <laughs> that's a face even a mother wouldn't love. <laughs> and the last one. For me, about one of the few reasons to watch the original trilogy, and it makes me sad that that Darth Maul. He's got the sword, and the sword, the uh, the saber. He's got the the lights on both sides, and he was doing some really awesome stuff. And it's really sad that he was only in there for such a short period of time. This is a character that really should have been in for a lot longer. There's the back on him. I really wish it's talking. I think I need some batteries in it. Because, like I said, this is from 1997. Oh, no, excuse me, this one's from 99. Apparently, they had a George R. Binks, too. And, um, and I don't think too many people were excited about that character. Which is funny. I think that's what ends up making the character worth more. But um, that's all we got today. A lot of pops from the uh, from Star Wars. The Force Awakens comes out tomorrow. Actually, there's probably some preview showings, to, uh, some early showings tonight. And I can't wait to see it. I'm so excited. But uh, that's all we got today. And uh, keep checking our videos. Subscribe. We have a lot of videos on um, action figures. We'll start doing a lot more action figures. Uh, we're doing um, all kinds of videos. And our podcast is just about every week. Probably going to miss the Christmas week. But after that, just about a weekly schedule with them. And like I say, like, subscribe. And uh, you guys have an incredible day.